What's going on guys? This is Leo and tonight I'm going to try to bring up this old video but in a new way. I'm going to change the resolution of the screen, make it widescreen, try to add a little bit better information than I did before. That was my very first video. So I just want to go ahead and improve on that, give you better information and improve the quality of the video for everybody else to enjoy it. This Walter P22 in particular, I bought here in a gun show a little while back for around 300 bucks. At the time, they were given two mags with it, so I was kind of lucky. Nowadays, you only get one mag. The gun takes 22 long rifle ammunition. It comes with two 10-round magazines, and is distributed here in the U.S. by Smith & Wesson. The magazine release in this gun is an ambidextrous design that is it's located on the bottom of the trigger guard, kind of like that found in H&K guns. Let's pull down on the tap and release the magazine. Let's slide the slide to the rear and double check, make sure there's no bullets in the chamber. This here is just a snack cap that I keep on the gun to protect it from my dry fires. Let's do a visual and manual check and let's drop the slide. This weapon has a couple of safeties on it. One of them is the thumb safety. It's on both sides, right and left. So it fits on dexterous shooters. When it's on the bottom position or S is showing, it's on the safe position. When it's on the up position where the safety is lined out with the barrel and F is showing, it's on the fire position ready to go. Aside from the thumb safety, the gun also has a magazine disconnect safety, which means that when the magazine is not in the gun, you can have a round in the chamber and the trigger gets disconnected. Therefore, you cannot actuate the hammer or fire the weapon. Getting back to what you get with the gun, in the box, when I first bought it, it came with two magazines, two 10 round magazines. One of the two magazines that I got with the gun has a pinky extension, uh, which gives you that much, about a quarter inch of extra grip on the firearm which is perfect for me because I can actually grasp my pinky around it the other is a flat bottom uh, magazine uh, the gun also came with this red uh, lock that goes around the magazine well and through the slide making it impossible for anybody to actually use the gun the gun also came with three different front sides which is the only way you can actually adjust the elevation of these weapons the rear side is windage adjustable but the front side in order for you to adjust elevation you have to interchange this little front size out for the different ones that you get. There's different size heights on this front size that come with the gun. One of them though is a flat sight that goes on the slide when you add the five inch barrel with the compensator. Also comes with three different uh, back straps which make it actually pretty neat for different people in the house. Let's say you're shooting, you have medium sized hands, your wife wants to shoot, she has small hands, so you wanna teach one of your small children how to shoot or the fundamentals of gun or the guns or basics. It's always good to have back straps because it allows the shooter to get acquainted with the gun a little bit better, making the shooting experience better. The gun also has a lock that comes with it that you can actually lock the trigger in place through the frame. There's a little lock in the frame that you can use to lock it and uh, it's there. So it's another safety you have. That's three safeties so far. The gun also comes with this little handy tool uh, that you can actually remove the barrel shroud out with and when you remove it, you can also insert one of those aftermark uh, suppressor adapters. The gun itself is a very compact, very easy to shoot weapon. Even though it's a compact, it still has a lot of the features of a full-size weapon. But keep in mind, guys, when you make the um, purchase of a Walter P22, you're getting a lot for your money. I initially purchased this gun, believe it or not, for my wife. I wanted her to get acquainted with guns, and I didn't want her to have to shoot the higher caliber 9mm Glock that I have. I wanted her to get used to this little gun. Also, she, she has shown interest in smaller guns. But I'm telling you what, man, you know, with, with the amount of time I have behind the trigger of this gun, I can tell you that, personally, I fall in love with this gun. It's a really fun plinker, and I, I'm, just, I'm just having a blast with it. And I want to share the knowledge so that everybody else out there can have a blast. 